When you think of good old Big Red, the Neo Geo MVS, what games come to mind? Metal Slug? Samurai Showdown? King of Fighters? What about sports games? The Neo Geo had a ton of them. Some of them are damn good. I have great memories of cracking homers and baseball stars and slapping asses to victory in Stakes Winner. So join me on this episode of Push Start, where we're going to take a look at some Neo Geo sports games. Let's kick things off with Baseball Stars, which is a landmark game for the Neo Geo. It's one of the original launch titles alongside classics like Magician Lord and Nom 1975. The game is actually a sequel of the version on the NES. The MVS version, renamed Baseball Stars Professional, takes full advantage of the arcade hardware and the game looks and sounds great. We certainly hadn't ever seen an arcade sports title looking like this before. There are plenty of teams to choose from and two different fields to play on. The presentation pieces set the stage for what would become much of the standard in arcade sports games for years to come. You get fantastic little interludes, especially after something like a home run. Get out of here! Get the homer out of here! The crowd is going to and as he rounds the bases, he loves to egg that crowd on. And proud he should be. He hit that ball a country mile. Love to get here. Baseball Stars Professional holds a special place in my heart as it's the first Neo Geo game I ever bought after getting my cabinet. Just a couple years later, the sequel, Baseball Stars 2, burst into arcades. Everything the game is improved upon, from the way the game plays to the visuals and presentation, it's all leaps and bounds past what Professional had to offer. Well, not exactly everything. The music that plays during the game is enough to make you want to introduce your head to a cinder block. The actual music isn't that bad, it's fairly generic hard rock, but the vocal lines sound like Max Headroom after a couple of eight balls. Baseball, baseball stars two. If you have to choose between the two, it's kind of a no-brainer to go with the second, but don't skip out on the first, even if it's just for curiosity's sake. League Bowling is a game that's easy to get excited about and even easier to be let down by. Maybe it's just me, but I've always had a thing for bowling video games, I can't quite explain it. i played a lot of them over the years, this one included. The art style is solid and certainly has that distinctive Neo Geo look about it. However, the gameplay doesn't really exist outside of moving left or right and potentially putting a little hook on your shots. Once you figure out the formula, it isn't hard to get into a rhythm of strikes and spares. I really wish the game had more depth or a sequel that expanded upon things, but sadly it doesn't. However, that doesn't mean it's not worth a quarter if you come across it, but probably just one quarter. Pleasure go! Alright, 10 out of 10 on the basis of name alone. Getting past a weird name, you find one of the better, arguably the best soccer offering on the MVS. Plus, look at these soccer men! They are ready to go! I really enjoyed the way the game played. It's incredibly fast-paced, it can certainly get a little chaotic, and at times I felt a little lost, but it was hard to put down. Visually, I really like those weather effects. That lightning and the rain, it really sets it apart from a lot of the soccer choices on the MVS. It's certainly one to play if you're interested in soccer, and I would recommend it over most, if all, other soccer games on the platform. Let's move on to Stakes Winner. Stakes Winner is a fun and colorful horse racing game that is certainly able to break past its weird niche appeal. It's easy to play, but it doesn't have much lasting power. Outside of the regular races, which are just button mashing, there are a couple power-ups that you'll find on the track, like a carrot for more power or wings for more speed. It's definitely worth a play, though, if you come across it. I actually found myself getting way more into it than I thought I would when I was capturing the footage. The follow-up, Stakes Winner 2, has to be one of the odd sequels out there that doesn't look as good as the original. It lacks a lot of the visual personality that the first game has in spades. The game is deeper though this time, with a shop to purchase upgrades from in between races, and the controls definitely feel a bit tighter. These two games are certainly outliers in the sports landscape, but are certainly enjoyable experiences.
let's jump into the far-flung future with Super Baseball 2020. It's a battle of robot players versus armored-up jetpack-assisted humans. I love the futuristic names that the players have, like Susan and Jessica. The game totally switches up the rule set of baseball and introduces some pretty cool gameplay features. The outfield has stop zones that create a dead ball that the outfielder can pick up and throw back into play. The outfield stands are covered entirely in glass except for center field. The ball can hit the glass and bounce back off and roll into play. Home runs can only happen if the ball is hit dead center. Fouls are behind the third and first base lines as well as home plate. And the storyline reason for all of this is that robots and those armored assisted humans pack way too much power. The game's controls can take some getting used to and it's very easy to throw nothing but balls or completely miss a play in the outfield, but you'll pick it up in time. The striking visual style and overall future robotic aesthetic mixed with solid gameplay makes it one of the best sports offerings on the MVS. I was really hoping for something more from Soccer Brawl considering how much it reminds you of Super Baseball 2020. Unfortunately, the gimmick doesn't help it as much as it does Super Baseball. Controls are harder to grasp and the game isn't as smooth as something like Pleasure Goal or Super Sidekicks, despite this game playing at a much slower pace. You can pull some cool trick shots if you're lucky enough, but I kind of felt like it was luck. I found it damn near impossible to feel like I was making any type of effort on offense. You can definitely find better soccer offerings on the platform for sure. Next up is Street Hoop, also known as Street Slam, also known as Dunk Dream. It's a street basketball game much in the vein of White Men Can't Jump. Let's see who's playing today. Ah, oh, cool, it's a rematch of World War II as Germany takes on the United States. Just like D-Day, you can slam dunk all over everybody. You have two buttons, a pass and a shoot, which doubles as a dunk or jump shot depending on the situation, and on defense they switch over to block and steal. If you build it up enough, eventually your power meter allows you to go for a super shot, a rim-rattling invasion dunk that clears the whole court out. And look at that guy dancing in the background. His village is being liberated and he's thrilled. Let's go huddle around him. Unfortunately, our game ends just like the war did. Germany wins and a puppy runs around in circles while barking. To me, Super Sidekicks was always the baseball star's equivalent of soccer games on the Neo Geo. It has a similar menu style as well as a hard rock soundtrack. Both games are super bright and colorful though, and I can't tell if this guy is happy or mad that I picked his team. Both games also have a wide selection of teams to pick from and easy to pick up and play controls. However, unlike its baseball counterpart, I don't always find myself coming back to it for my arcade soccer fix. Maybe that's because there's so many options for the sport on the Neo Geo, and maybe it's because the game was approved upon by its two sequels. However, this is an important game for the Neo Geo, as it was the first soccer game released for the arcade platform. It's not a bad game by any means, but you may find better options out there. Football Frenzy always attracted me somehow. I love the look of the game, and to be honest, I'm a sucker for big sprites. The horizontal viewpoint made it look like an ultra version of Tech Mobile. The game is simple enough to play as you either run or pass on offense, with the receivers each being assigned a button above their head. But the gameplay, unfortunately, is kinda clunky. The game has this weird kinda zoomed-in perspective on some offensive plays that can make it kinda hard to figure out the right way to move. The camera is better on defense than any kicking plays, though. The presentation is a little more on the bland side compared to some of the games we've looked at today, but it's not terrible. This actually isn't the first SNK football game, but it is the only one on the Neo Geo. Touchdown Fever was released in 1987 and has the top-down look most football games of its era had. Football Frenzy isn't a bad game, just a little disappointing as it's your only option for football on the MVS. Ready? Alright, now we're talking. Neo Turf Masters isn't just one of my favorite MVS games, let alone sports games, but one of my favorite arcade games, period. I have sunk hundreds of hours into this game over the years. I never played it before until I purchased my first Neo Geo cabinet and quickly got hooked. I love the way it plays, it's super simple and easy to grasp, the visuals are fantastic with great stupid looks all over the characters' faces, all depending on what level of bad you are at golf. Also, speaking of the characters, let's go back to that golfer select screen. 
These dudes all look like they went to that same shady doctor from Multiplicity, and the clones kept getting clones made of themselves. There's four courses to pick from, all with their own visual style and challenges. I don't know what it is about this game, but I keep coming back to it hole after hole. Good sports games are few and far between in the arcade. Most may not be able to name many beyond NFL Blitz and NBA Jam. However, the Neo Geo was loaded with them. It's just another one of those quirks that makes the Neo Geo so special and so beloved by many in the arcade scene. Now, there are many more sports games on the Neo Geo, most of which are soccer games. But there are some really killer sports adjacent games, but that's for another episode. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Push Start.